Welcome to the walkthrough on the album that I made using the Always and Forever collection from Simple Stories. Um, everything was used from the collection except for one hand. This was a knob from Graphic 45 that I had. We have um, had some open packages and the flowers were cut from the dies. Those new dies from Graphic 45 which I love because they emboss. I don't know if you can see that and then the leaves. So it was perfect for this color setting. And then on the back, kind of close, so let me open this here. On the back is are the chipboards that I use, Mr. and Mrs. And the Always and Forever from Simple Stories is in stock at countrycraftcreations.com. And then one of the chipboards on the back. I just thought that was adorable to put back there as they're heading off into the sunset. Um, anyway, the album I made is six. the cover six and a half by nine and a half. The pages are six by nine and when you open the inside so I left lots of room for pictures this is um, a second wedding so I still wanted it to be nice and of course you know we want lots of pictures we have large pull-out mats and the tutorial is loading it is a long tutorial because I just do them all in one, as you know. They're five out. It's five hours long, but you can stop it and start it. So here again, we have another large pocket area. These are five by, or six by, five and seven. They or well, never mind. They're big. They're they're for five by sevens. Then on the back, I was able to put. This is the back side of the wedding invitation, and then another nice large pullout mat. I didn't do any magnets or anything. I just left the flaps loose there. I did put a magnet, of course, on the back here to hold things hold things down. Now, the Always and Forever Wedding Collection is black and white, as you can see, creams. And it, they did add kind of a mossy green. So it re went really well with their setting, but um, you could also add other colors. Cute. Now, the cut-aparts, you have cut-aparts with the collection, but this is also, there is a collection pack that comes with all the stuff pre-cut for you, which I used a lot of those, and these are not on the cut aparts from the regular paper. So this just opens up, and it says a door, nice big photo mat, and how this starts out is back basically our story. And then I'll just show you one, because the cut apart, I mean the pullouts, I just did the big long, they're not over nine inches long, and I used my envelope punch board I show that in the video and I put we're engaged so I kind of went we're engaged the wedding beautiful things like that and when you turn it over again this is you know kind of more of the dating we just click cut apart then we have two places for photos while they're you know they're they're dating or maybe their engagement photo can go in there nice big flat And then we're engaged. Again, this is from, you'll see on the website at countrycraftcreations.com. This is the snap pack, I believe it's called. And it's tons and tons of cut apart so you don't have to use your, your sheets. And you can use the paper um, that way, the back side. Because, you know, they put cut aparts on one side. And then the paper on the back. So, again, two nice big spots for photos. And then a nice big pocket with some mats and I left them back. The back's blank so that just for photos. This one says for for all time. And then here we have just a nice pocket with cut aparts from the collection. And this is at, from the paper line. This is from the ephemera pack. So I use the ephemera pack, the chipboard sheets, the snap pack, which is these cut aparts here that aren't on your paper itself. And then depending on the paper, I, I'm sorry, I did not keep track, but I know I used a collection pack and then I bought, I have extra of the green of this one and this one 
because I wanted uh, more papers than what was in the collection pack. So now we get to the bride, and here it says beautiful from the ephemera pack. And it opens, so plenty of room for the bride's pictures. And here comes the bride. Grandkids are coming home from school, so you might hear some noise. Then here we have two waterfalls, groomsmen and bridesmaids. And I just duplicated them on each side. And then the wallet pictures can go, except for, there we go, catch up. And now we have the groom, tuxedo on the chipboard. It opens this way. Some of the cut aparts that are in here. He asked, she said yes. And then it opens this way. So if she wants groomsmen, uh, the guys' pictures can all go right there. And here it says together. And all the bottoms of these are the same color. I just put that at the bottom. One reason is these are huge tags over nine inches. Would have taken a lot of paper. Plus, um, they do get pretty heavy and you want more room for pictures. Now here we just have a corner pocket with the chipboard, the sticker. And this is from the cut apart. And it just happened to, to fit correctly. And then this is also just your four by four cut apart. So I just um, cut it across 12 inches and I scored it and they can add some other photos in there or or just leave it. I'll tuck that right inside. And over here, we're kind of moving on to the reception. I do. So I did three different pages. So, you know, the wedding cake gives the feeling of the reception. And then, of course, just married. And Mr. and Mrs. and the wedding day go behind the car and this paper you'll see when um, I'm doing the tutorial I didn't do a lot of the decorating on I, well, I did some it's busy and there's already pictures so I didn't feel the need to put a lot more embellishing on here and she's not a real frilly the wedding was very I mean the flowers were more just greenery things like that down to earth so a nice big pocket and then in the pocket I just made an envelope out of the black cardstock and then inside I put the remaining pieces of ephemera because there was so much in the ephemera pack another car tags that um, she can now put with the pictures where she wants to put them and when I do give these as wedding gifts I also give them a roll of score tape the quarter inch score tape so that they can add the pictures because a lot of people when you give these albums to they're like I don't know how to add my photos and then as you can see every page lays beautifully flat um, and I show you exactly how to do this in the tutorial that I didn't even put a tie or a closure on the album and that way it just sits nice you can see there's no alligatoring and then there's plenty of room plenty of room from the the way it's shaped here that she'll be able to add her photos and it's not going to alligator up. So that is our album made with Always and Forever from uh, Simple Stories available at CountryCraftCreations.com.